This is Sue with the James Method, and today I want to bring you an overview of resources that I utilize in my verse mapping process. As you can see by the sticky notes I have tabbed here, when it comes to the various aspects of a map, I like to consult a variety of either physical books that I might have on hand or online resources. So let's just jump right in. I'll begin by establishing my primary translation for the verse I am mapping. I will use a study Bible, and often I like to use the ESV study Bible, or I might use Bible Gateway for my translation choice. I stay with Bible Gateway when I'm looking at my alternate translation. And I might sometimes use this space as well as this space. It just depends on the verse that I happen to be mapping. I then move over to context. And for context information, I will rely on my study Bible, blue letter Bible, or ESV.org, which can be a great website. Now, word studies can be done any number of ways, depending on the stage of mapping a person is at. For those just getting started and maybe not ready to dive into the original languages yet, we can look at a dictionary as one way of defining keywords. Webster's 1828 dictionary is another good tool, followed by a Bible dictionary or a Bible encyclopedia. Once we're ready to enter into the original languages, we can use such resources as Blue Letter Bible, Bible Hub, eSword, or Keyword Study Bible. We then shift over to Cross References, which is really the last section that identifies resources specifically. And to identify cross resources, uh, cross references rather, I can look at a study Bible. I can go to Bible Hub, and if I want to enter the world of topical cross-referencing, I can look at Thompson's Chain Reference Bible, a great way to actually add and enhance my cross-referencing study time. Now for view of God and view of man, I am asking myself questions, and I do the same thing with reflection and approach. So this is less about resources and more about the approach that I use. I like to pose this question to the verse I'm mapping. What does this verse tell me about God? His name, his attributes, his nature, his promises, his covenant, etc. And I write that down. For verse of mankind, I will ask a similar question. What does this verse tell me about people? Now that could be the original audience. So let's say I was verse mapping Ephesians, a, ver a verse out of Ephesians. That could be the church at Ephesus at the time. What did the verse mean to them? I could also ask myself, what does the verse tell me about myself? Or what does it tell me about the church today? That then moves me down to reflection and application where I like to pose questions. Are there any truths contained in the verse for me to lay hold of? Promises for me to claim? Corrections for me to make in my daily walk? So on and so forth. And then lastly, I finish by writing out my prayer to God. The end point of the map, but the starting point of transformation in my life. I hope you find this helpful. Thanks so much.